the Executive Secretary of IGAD. The summit was also attended by representatives of the United Nations, the African Union Commission, the League of Arab States, and the European Union. It was briefed by His Excellency Mohamed Afei, the IGAD Special Envoy to Somalia. After holding extensive discussions on the developments in Somalia, the summit issued the following communique. First, it reaffirmed its respect for the sovereignty, territorial integrity, political independence, and unity of Somalia. Second, it welcomed the update of the federal government of Somalia on the implementation of the 2016 electoral process. Third, it reiterated the ownership of the federal government of Somalia in leading and setting the priorities for its stabilization and reconstruction in an all-inclusive manner. Four, it commended the recent Somali National Leadership Forum, the NLF, meeting in Mogadishu on the 2016 electoral roadmap and endorsed its outcome. Fifth, it welcomed the federal government of Somalia's commitment to a credible, transparent, inclusive electoral mechanism towards a peaceful and democratic transition. Sixth, it encouraged all Somalis to participate in the 2016 electoral process and hoped that free and fair elections are conducted within the timelines. Seventh, it commended the progress made in the state formation of the country and encouraged the swift completion of Iran and Middle Shevele state formation. Eighth, it requested the African Union mission in Somalia, AMISOM, to provide all necessary security to the electoral process. Ninth, it condemned the recent Al-Shabaab attack against the AMISOM and the Somali National Army in Somalia and their continued attacks against civilian population. Ten, it called on army some troops and the Somali security forces to expand their operations, deal with evolving terror threats, and immediately recover the remaining areas controlled by Al-Shabaab. Eleventh, it called for the establishment of an economic recovery fund with support from the region and the international community. Twelfth, it asked the international community to support the FGS development plans and programs, especially infrastructure connectivity and social services through the IGAD third party financing mechanism and any other bilateral arrangements. Thirteenth, we have found the strong solidarity among IGAD member states and their commitment to continue supporting the stability of Somalia. Fourteenth, it expressed appreciation for international partners and organizations that are currently providing financial, material, and technical assistance to the federal government of Somalia. Fifteenth, it strongly condemned and deplored those seeking to destabilize the security, peace, and stability of the country, and urges all Somali actors to embrace the process of bringing back normalcy to their country. Sixteenth, it encouraged the voluntary return of all Somali refugees to participate in the national building efforts. Seventeenth, it committed to collectively address refugee situ the refugee situation in the region, as well as convene a special summit on durable solutions and effective reintegration of returnees in the country. Eighteen, it requested the IGAD chair to bring to the attention of the World Humanitarian Conference on the sidelines of the UN General Assembly in New York the dire need for humanitarian support to the region. Nineteenth, it commended the remarkable efforts of the IGAD Secretariat and its Somali Facilitation Office towards peace and stability in the country. Twenty, it directed the IGAD Council of Ministers to convene before the end of the year to dispose of pending policy and administrative issues at the IGAD Secretariat in Djibouti. 21, it expressed its appreciation to the government and the people of Somalia for hosting this extraordinary session. And 22nd, it had a report on the current developments in South Sudan and decided to remain seized of the situation in Somalia and South Sudan.
That's the end of the communique. It was done in Mogadishu, Somalia, on the 13th of September 2016. We will not be taking any questions. No. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you.